revisiting my solar panel project with a couple updates. Uh, it's going to flush the panels in a uh, any minute here. And we've got 54 degree water in the pool. But just to show you the updates I did, I put manifolds, uh, they're under tarp actually, where I'm running the, uh, the panels in parallel before it was one series run. I've got a little pool pump that feeds the manifold and then also a temperature controller. Uh, that's monitoring. This is set to go off at 130 and then cut out at, uh, at 110. There's a sensing element inside the um, panel to read the temperature and I've got a feed coming in with a cutoff valve on one side of the pool going down into the pool put a cutoff valve on it for maintenance wise so you can maintain your suction and uh, see what happens when this water starts coming out okay the pump just kicked on try to get a reading before it cycles through it cycles about 15 gallons plus and you feel the water is pretty warm coming out now. And then you can see we're up over a hundred and <laughs> over hundred and twenty degrees. Um, and my thermometer is maxed out. And then it should actually start to cool down as the cold water runs in. Which is feeling it's dropping down. Until it reaches a set point on the uh, controller. So there was a spike of about 120, so I've got to readjust the controller because uh, I don't want to scald anyone but right now we're trying to fill the pool and now yeah the panels are flushed all filled with the 54 degree water coming from the pool and now it just kicked off and I'll show you the temp so here you can see the uh, solar panels uh, went down below the, the max point the set point which was 100 only because 54 degree water is pumping in it's moderately sunny, but you can see uh, the temperature increasing internal on the panel. And it's actually between two of the pipes um, inside on one of the larger panels at the tail end. So you're flushing all of the hot through the pipe. But it'll reach to, this said there's a set point of 100 with the hysteresis of 20 so it goes to 120 and engages this pump flushing the panels parallel you can see the connections underneath and I calculated it was 15 gallons in the panels uh, but then you get residual flowing through also till uh, till everything's pumped out and cooled down <clears throat> and it's just a cheap controller it doesn't have uh, it's not really fast responding. So with the the cover on and between this pump it up, today is uh, May. Uh, what is it? May eighth or something like that. And then uh, we can check back to see how we're warming up the pool. So we'll see what our temperature crawls up to. 
Now we're up to 95, almost 96 degrees. I don't know if I can show the element, but it's it's under the panel here. And that's the latest update.